now to find Nolwyn, the Breton smuggler Toka told us about. If there is a weakness to the island, she'll know it. Food, herbs, healing wraps. I wonder who these are meant for. Arrowheads, whetstones, smuggled goods meant for the Ildelesite. The smuggler must know the island well. <laughs> Seems the Queen knows the smuggler. Maybe Richardis can help me find Nolwyn. Let us pray in the world of our Savior. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. A heathen monster, bearing weapons on our holy ground! A trusted friend. Good people, do not break the peace of our church. Who can trust the pagan diable? How many have you killed, fiend? Friends, remember. When the good Samaritan saw the beaten man, he had compassion and bound his wounds. You keep busy, Queen. Someone must tend to those who fall in battle. Plague did this, not war. War breeds plague, Evor. I am not yet ready to return to Charles, if that is what brings you here. No. I seek a Breton who resides in this ward, name of Nolwyn. I know her! A freelance thief! A disreputable woman, although not without talents. To those who can pay. They say she can smuggle goods and messages over walls and past guards. Yes. So why do you seek this woman's help? There is a friendship between us, but I cannot share everything. Yet I promise, our goals are the same. But Siegfried the Frankiller leads this army, not you. He inflicts his vengeance upon us, town by town. Because the Franks killed his brother. How many Northmen must die so Siegfried can avenge one man? Should his knees die too? Should you? I cannot stop entire armies. Only urge reason and a truce on all sides. I do what I can. You did save my life. I must take that first step and trust you. My good Samaritan. Thank you, Queen. I am in your debt. I mean that. So, where is this Breton? Alas, I do not know. She visits from time to time. I know! I know the way to Norwin's hideout. Please, let me show Eivor! From the mouths of babes. Very well. But hurry back, little bear. Not so fast, little prince. This place is not safe. Nowhere in France here is safe now. Mother Richardie says so. How is it you know where this smuggler works? Yesterday I went on an adventure and followed her. But she saw me and waved. I felt silly. Ah, I've been down this way before. Thank you, Bernard. Get back to the Queen. Bye, Eivor. Have fun, and let's have another adventure soon. My friend, just who are you? Bonjour, my brave friend. But I do not have any silver. Hmm. I am not here to take your silver. I have no quarrel with you. 
Praise the saints. And I thank you for your fine and timely blade. But I must go. No. You see, I'm a friend of Risharis, Queen of Francia. And I am married to the Pope. Long may he reign. They say you walk through city walls. I need your help. I am no ghost. Just a simple bout from Brittany that has lost her way. Look, you are a smuggler. All Paris knows it, even the boy prince does. I need your help. And if I know a thing or two about all that, what is it worth to you? My friend Toka wants a necklace back. This I know. There is her chain, friend. Tell her to find me a Nantes when this is all over. Toka shall hear your words. All is well. So what do you need, Northerner? I seek a weakness in these walls. Is there a hidden tunnel, a secret door or something like that? No, no, not so simple. The Franks sealed the city well. But take this key. It will open the bridge door. The bridge? I can reach the bridge from outside. What I could use is a way to take it down. A little silver birdie told me that the bridge's foundations are in dire shape. I see. And if we can take the bridge down, the longships can encircle the city. You did not hear this from me. Farewell. Smuggler was right. Some jars of grease will bring this bridge crashing down. I will set up the jars so we can destroy the bridge later during the attack. Tell me to scout the Northman's army by myself? What do I want with their suicide mission? Let's see how well they hold the city without their precious bridge, bastards. There. The trap is set for the siege of the island. Better return to the others. The fat king. What other king could I mean? They say he sleeps here. He slept here, he ate here, he drank here, and he left here. Where he went after that? Who am I to say? No luck finding the king. Eivor! No, no luck. Finding such a large, famous man should be easy. But not for me. Come, let us drink. Who are these strange folk? Fools with no shame and no honor. Players who perform for the king. One of these fools may lead us to that greater fool, the king. <laughs> Don't bother. It's like talking to drunks or goats. Or drunken goats. Eivor, I, I should thank you. For what? For backing me against Siegfried. He will not talk to the Franks, but we should still try, yes? Yes. And you can do this thing, with or without him. But I failed. Nobody here will tell me where to find the king. What should I do? A wise shield warrior must know both swords and words. What shall learn? I found what I need. Charles enjoys the theater and I'm young. Good. Let us go. No. He may lash out if he meets one of Siegfried's clan. Best I go alone. As you wish. But meet me here when you are done and tell me what he said.
should we mere mortals measure the greatness of a king? By his height, by his weight, by the length of his sock. No! Do not measure Looks like the backstage. Maybe Charles lurks within. Anything! Oh, daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that takes the little ones. Yes, demon. What? What does it do to the little ones? He dashes them against the stones. No. No, 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 no. <sighs> it is only the heathen, led astray by Lucifer. But mortal, all the same. Charles, I heard two voices. Who else is back here? No one but me, and this weak creature of flesh. <coughs> uh, forgive me. Talking to that which does not exist opens the door for something that does. This I know. Let me assure you, my demon exists, as does my god. <coughs> Kill me. Make me a martyr king. I should slay you where you stand for that trick you played on me and the Queen. <laughs> that will not get you what you want, huh? Peace and uh, a free hand in England, correct? Only you can save your people from Siegfried's wrath. If the world were so simple, bread would grow on trees. Odo is a great man with greater ambitions. All of my nobles make demands of me. So does the Pope, and the Greeks, the Slavs, the Saxons, the Saracens. And you, huh? <laughs> you Northmen. You demand land, hostages, tribute. Sometimes the best move is not to move at all. You would let your enemies slaughter one another. I will let my enemies paint God's green earth red with infidel blood. While Pius Charles prays only for peace. Is there nothing you want? Yes. By now you know I care not a whit for my barren wasteland of a wife. But your son, Bernard. My only heir. Bring me the prince, unharmed, and I will consider the merits of your offer. Else begun. You want him brought to a dingy theater where you talk to yourself in the dark? Hmm. No. Present my son to me on the field of battle, before all my men and vassals. Why then? Why wait? My nobles need to see me getting something from you, northerners. Now, until that day dawns, there is the door. You look none the worse for ale. How much did you drink? Not enough to make me enjoy those awful Frankish skulls. But tell me, will Charles sign a truce? He will not even speak to us until we hand over his son, Bernard. But we do not have the bastard boy. No, but I know where the Queen took him. The Plague Ward, south of the city. I will gather my thanes and take them hostage. To seize the Prince lacks honor. Well, we should keep an eye on the boy all the same. 
Hmm. I know a man of keen eye and light step. Pierre. A wise choice. So, one step closer to breaching the walls and burning a city. Yes. And I do not want this thing. But what else can we do? See you back at the camp, Toga. Trail of blood. Siegfried passed this way. Workshop. The perfect place for our catapults. An army of wooden giants to bring down the walls. Those Franks. What are they doing? Ah, they slay another of their own today. For what? Who can say? If a man prays to the wrong god, sleeps with the wrong woman, follows the wrong king by Frankish law. That man dies. Among the Saxons, it is much the same. Aye, but the Saxons are fewer. They are divided, and they fight both us and the Celts. These Franks, though, united under a great king. It would be like unleashing Fenrir the wolf upon the world. We are God's priests, and we are good. But if thou do that which is evil, fear. For we beareth not the sword in vain. Who are those two? I've seen that warrior priest with Count Odo before. Gosselin and Ebels. Warriors and brothers. One leads the priests of Paris, the other the Frankish armies. For we are God's priests. Avengers to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must- Brother, you talk too much. <laughs> Come on. Let us go take that workshop now. Quite a show they put on. We'll have to fight those Franks soon. True, but today is not that day. My men are ready. Come, let's take some ground for the catapults. I would never give my warriors a shameful death like that. Nor would I. But I have met rotten rulers in many lands. You speak true, Siegfried. The Franks have no monopoly on wickedness. Almost there. Now, let us travel light and stick to the rooftops. Siegfried Skullbreaker is here! Come, men! We shall take this workshop and make it our own! We scouted the place. They keep watch, but not well. And the sight lines? A perfect place for our catapults to hurl stones upon that cursed town. I never took you for a rooftop runner, Siegfried! I am no goat-footed climber like you, but I hold my own on cliffs and walls. Vengeance or death! Oh. Our new catapults are eager for battle. The crack of wood and stone is the sound of victory. The vengeance. God's place is a good luck. Shut up, Robbie. Shut up, Robbie. Shut up, Robbie. Shut 
great victory. The gods smiled upon this day. Indeed. This gives us another place where our catapults can smash down their walls. Eivor, know you the fate of Vida Odinson. The god of vengeance who fights beside his father in the battle at the end of days. Yes. Vida avenges him. Vida twists the great wolf's neck with his bare hands, then stabs the beast through the belly. So say the Nornir. Days like today, I walk in the shoes of Vida, avenging my brother. Other days, there is nothing. We will bring those walls down on Odo's head, and I will avenge my brother. It is good. We shall meet back in camp when all is ready, Siegfried. You. We're a Siegfried and Toka. Ah, uh, battle must be near. The crow has come for the feast. You have a clever tongue, friend. But tomorrow we all speak in a language older than words. Fate already knows who lives and who dies. Again I ask, where are the others? <sighs> Fetching more catapults for tomorrow's attack. You can wait. I shall wait. Somewhere else. Far from home, before another city of strangers. When did our lives become a saga, Sunan? Yes, I know the day, the very day when mother and father died. Count Odo will not hear reason. Charles plays games. I cannot trust the lives of my people with such men. The queen now. She I could trust, but she lacks power. My place is here, with Siegfried and Toka, come what may. Eivor, you return! That means all is ready, and we cannot turn back now. Why do you worry? You'll collect more swords. I know how to fight other warriors on the field of battle. This is a city. There will be flames. It matters not. Tomorrow we will fight as warriors, not ruthless killers. As I swear upon my honor. Ah, Eivor the Talker. And to whom have you so freely given your word about how my battle goes? I said it. The gods heard it. That is enough. And if I say we burn this city to ashes and feed the crows with children, what say you? Say what you like, Siegfried. But we are free things, all of us. You're not our Jarl nor our king. Ha <laughs> ha Good! Good! Keep that fire burning through the night. It shall kindle our vengeance at the break of dawn. Time to go lie on my furs. How do you do that, Eivor? Sleep before a battle, I mean. Easy. I remember my mother's murder. Each moment. Second, I recall every word the old father ever said to me. And finally, I think upon this war-filled world. And of the next, the whole of endless wonder. Only then do I rest. Today, warriors, we shall take that city and sack it and burn it to the ground!
And tonight, friends, we shall feast in Odo's palace, or in Odin's hall, with the choosers of the slain. Now is the time of honor, the hour of our glory! The day of vengeance! the king of glory? The Lord is strong and mighty in battle. He trains my hands for war, so that my arms may hold this cross of gold. I shall not yield! Brave Sif, bring the gift of victory. Odin, lend me your helm of art. Vida, feed my need for vengeance. Oh, Vanir, oh, Aesir, crush these walls. I am the gate of Paris! Favors the brave. Now what, Siegfried? 
Rush the palace gates! We'll bring the whole place crashing down on Odo's skull! To the palace! Fire and vengeance! Faster! Faster! Catch them off guard! Follow me, Pontius! To hell of victory! Dare you, dog! How much longer, Bloodbat? right into Odo's trap like a healing elk. Do not lose heart, Siegfried. Battle is a fickle goddess. Uncle, it is worse. The scouts report that warrior priest, uh... Gasoline. Yes, he rallies a large force of Franks in the east, in that church. Damn the gods. They will crush us out in the open. What do we do? Our catapults could hit that church, but they have no way to aim. We should light signal fires on the towers. That will give the catapults something to target. Yes, do it. I will get the wounded out and alert the catapults before rejoining you. Good. And I will take down this warrior priest Gaslan before he rallies the Franks. Eivor, hey, keep up! We must light those towers! Silent jester from the tavern. You have earned my eternal gratitude. I assume you seek the war priest, Goslin? Please, take the church key. It's brought me only trouble. Thanks. It seems you found your tongue after all. <laughs> Hush, my son. You didn't see anything. You're scared. That's all. No, Papa! I did! The big cross moved! It wobbled! Perhaps it was a sign just for you. Now pray silently, like Meme taught. 
Fear not, brethren. We are safe behind these stone walls. Safe in God's house. Safe? The Northmen have broken through the city gates. And run right into our trap. Even now, our warriors gather for my devastating counterattack. We will crush them between the towers and the walls. We will slay them all and burn their villages. Now, pray with me, good people. Pray to God and all the saints to deliver us from this plague of heathens. Pray for what? A quick death? You failed us, Bishop! We shall pray that King Charles and his army arrives to smite our godless foes. Have faith! You pray for a rescue from Charles of Bertus! It can be Truly, deadly. we are doomed! <laughs> Join your nailed god in death, as you served him in life. Mama, I'm scared. Clear the hall! Hush, child. Shh, hush. Come, Eivor. The fighting still rages through the streets. We need your strength. And Toka, killing everyone. It is as I feared. The bloodlust is upon him. He will slaughter the whole city. If I can reach Count Odo, I can make him surrender to stop this madness. Siegfried's warriors have surrounded the gates to Odo's palace. With Kozlan dead, the streets are ours. We are moving the catapults to batter the palace gates down. There must be another way over, under, or around those walls. Nolwen once spoke of a tunnel in the southwest. One way or another, I'll get in. Ebo, hey, over here. Smuggler, I last saw you in the tunnels. That was before your army started the burning and pillaging. This slaughter is not my doing. I mean to end this. You have not won yet. Charles is marching toward Paris with his heavy horse. Gods, his army comes. Well, this, they are close and riding hard. All the more reason I must hurry and end this thing. I need a hidden way into Odo's palace. I know a way. But there is a band of Frankish warriors milling about. Show me. Upon my honor. I give you my word that Toka and I, we do not want this. Fine. I will lead the way. Those guards are too close to the tenant. I will chase them off. We will die if we don't get into Odo's palace somehow! There is a tunnel around here. Keep searching, men! That tunnel takes you into the palais. Thank you, Norwen. And you? I will save what I can of my trade goods and live through other tunnels. Godspeed, Eivor. A safe journey to you, too. Sneak 
inside Odo's palace. into the palais for a twist. How can you think of all animal lusts today of all days? We may die today. Should I spend my last moments scrubbing floors or making love? May God have mercy on your soul, Abuda. Sneaking through the back door like that. Following that love-struck mage should lead me into the palace. Now that I'm inside the palace, I need to find someone to point me toward Odo. Pardon me, good sirs. Where may I find Count Odo? Count Odo? Who cares about Count Odo? Where is our good friend Walter de Sans? Why? Who is Walter de Sans? A great warrior? Walter? A warrior? No. He is Count Odo's family priest. He's begging Odo to give us more wine. Huh? We plan to be passed out drunk by the time the Northmen bust into here. Odo's priest might lead me to Odo, but I need to sneak past these guards to the servant's wing. Yes! <laughs> 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 Why the Count would not attend to you, I will never know. The mother... Pardon me, but is that food for Count Odo? No, this is for Lady Theodrat, his wife. She lies at death's door. And who are you in such garb? A healer, from Frisia. What happened to the lady? While helping wounded soldiers off the walls, she took an arrow in the belly. Persuade that worthless priest Walter to give her the last rites if you can. He's just upstairs. I will see what I can do. Thank you. What? <laughs> Special wine, maybe for a high feast, could come in handy. Pardon me, father. Where is Count Odo? Oh, Odo! His foolish pride will kill us all! Yes, but where is he? Who are you again? No, I can tell you nothing without more wine. Ah, my memory has gone all hazy. Here is your wine. Now, do you remember where is Count Odo? Wine? Ah, sweet, precious wine. The water of life, the blood of Christ, the fiery flame of the world. Red wine, nothing more. You may have it. Oh, heaven hears my prayer. Now, I can die. Before you do, where is Count Odo? Odo! I do not know, but his wife lies wounded in her master bedroom. She may have answers on the second story along the main hall. Here, take the key. I lock the door. Thanks. Is that you, Odo, my love? No. You're too tall. Are you the priest? <laughs> the light has grown dim. I see nothing but shapes. <laughs> Father, will you hear my confession? Oh, yes. I am the priest, your ladyness. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. In my own pride, I went to battle without armor, thinking God would be my shield. And now I'm dying, and I will never see my sweet children again. Where are they, Father? Are they safe? They uh, are safe with that good man, Walter du Sang. Do not fear. Thank you. But, Father, please, will you carry a message from a dying woman to her beloved husband? 
I will, my dear. What should I tell Count Odo? That he is a good man. That he must live for children's sake. For Paris. For Francia. He must not die for a mad king. I promise I will do this, good lady. Where may I find your husband? <laughs> Odo remains locked in his sanctum. His sanctum? Up the landing and across the hall. My husband still hopes Charles will ride forth and save the city. Locked in, you said? There is a key in the bureau. Take it. Help my husband any way you can. Death creeps upon me now, but slow and quiet, like a shadow at day's end. Eyelids so heavy. Mother, where are you? Farewell, good lady. What good are our deaths, my lord? Your lady wife lies dying. Go to her. Your duty as a husband. My duty is here. When Charles and his army arrive, we will join the attack. We will crush the heathens between the hammer of Charles and the anvil of Paris. <gasps> Leave, Walter. Go comfort my wife as best you can. God, it seems, has chosen a different fate for me. The priest is right. Lay down your arms. Save your city. Among the Northmen, is not death in battle the best way to die? Come, share a glass of wine with a doomed man. I have heard many a warrior cry out for their mothers as their life's blood feeds the ground. I no longer can say if this is the best way to die. Your wife's wound is severe, an arrow to the gut. I saw her. I fear she won't last the night. And I won't last the next quarter of an hour. She's said to be strong for your children. Do not throw away your life for a mad king. Look at these works of stained glass. Delicate. Priceless. Evro's artisans spend years crafting each piece. Wondrous works. I grant you that. We brought them here for safekeeping. In the hopes that your invading horde won't smash them to pieces. You tell me to surrender my city? Abandon my honor? You tell me to live out my days as Siegfried's prisoner? What would you do? I would fight. And someday I will die with steel in my hand. This I know. It is my doom. But today is not that day. And if I put you on your back, bleeding out and crying for your mother? My mother is already dead. Come, Norda! Bleed from her!
shot make me slay you. Honor demands one of us dies. Fine blade for a fine warrior. You fought well, Count Odo. But not well enough. <clears throat> Give me a quick death. Do not make a spectacle of my defeat. Those are not Siegfried's horns. Shah and his army! He arrives in time to save the city. They do not fight. I see a flag of truce. Siegfried and Charles will hold parley. I must be there. My voice must be heard. As should I. But I am your prisoner. Then I release you on your honor, and trust you to keep our truce. Thank you, Eivor. I shall. <laughs> 